Women in Military History Month is here, and we have a very special birthday this month, a very special one that we would like to say happy birthday to Brigadier General Wilma Vaught. Happy yeah, there she is. Happy, happy 91st birthday, birthday yes. to Brigadier General Wilma Vaught, United States Air Force. She's a very special individual, and... Uh, I just want to say an opening uh, that Wilma Vaught, they call the Women's Memorial in Washington, D.C., the house that Wilma built. And the reason for that is because she put all this together for us. And um, I'm one of the charter members of this memorial. And there, there's my picture right there. That picture is in the memorial with a little write up of, you know, when I went to jump school and stuff. And uh you know, I went to the ribbon cutting ceremony in Washington, D.C., and then again at Universal Studios, uh, where uh, they called out the different women in the military, the nurses and, you know, and uh, the mechanics and the corpsmen, everybody, and they would stand up and be acknowledged. And uh, General Brigadier General Wilma Vaught said, well... She looked around. She goes, I don't think there are going to be any airborne women here. And I went, Whoa! and I stood up. And that's when we first met because I was the only one in the room. And she was going, really? I didn't realize that. And she said, when did you go in? And I said, about six months after it opened, ma'am. You know, and she's going, wow, you know, because uh, the Women's Army Corps ended in uh, in the 76 or whenever. Uh, and uh, I became from the Women's Army Corps to uh, being a regular soldier and during that period of time. So she was surprised that this could even happen. And that's that's me right there. And uh, thank you very much for letting me tell my story about how terrific I think she is. 91 years old. 91. Go for it, guys. What do you have on her? Well, I was going to say happy birthday personally. Happy birthday. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this, uh, this building uh, is right at the gate of the Arlington National Cemetery. It is gorgeous. And I will never, ever forget the night where we all lit candles and walked across the bridge uh, during this weekend of ribbon cutting ceremony and all this kind of stuff. And it was a wonderful experience to be there and go inside and see all the displays. I know uh, Michelle Obama visited with General uh, uh, Wilma Vaught, Brigadier General Wilma Vaught. Now you had something, Nicholas, you're, you were in the Air Force and you know about ranks and what not better than I do uh, between, I mean, so I get confused about the Navy just yes, blows yes. my head. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. Yeah. What, what when I was at Weidman Air Force Base, we had a, a Brigadier General at one point that controlled the uh, bomb wing, the 509th bomb wing force. Is that what you're going to ask me, Gil, what Brigadier General? Or, yeah, about how how women were. Uh, oh, were well, was, yes. Well, that this is very important. Yeah. Uh, in 1967, President Johnson signed into law a measure finally permitting women to be promoted to the level of generals and admirals uh, in the in the military. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just think that's something that's extraordinarily significant. It paved the way for. Brigadier General Wilma Vaught to become uh, a Brigadier General and many, many other great uh, military women. Full effort. I mean, she attends so many different functions, fundraising for, for this memorial, and, and it is just a stellar place to experience and be, and it's open to the public. You can go in there to the computer and type in the name of, you know, your vet, uh, and if it was your mom, uh, she probably wrote about you as a kid, and, you know, and, you know, and that I had two children, their names are this or that, and, you know, and what they did and everything. And those stories are there in that building for anybody to go in and read. So, yes. And it is amazing be, being able to being Air Force, but also being able to, to study uh, a great general, you know, that gave back in so many ways and continues yep. to do 
uh, a long life. I mean, it's just amazing. I just wanted to share brief things that just jumped out at me. Uh, you know, uh, General Wilma Vaught was the first woman to command a unit receiving the Joint Meritorious Unit Award. Uh, she's also oh. received numerous military decorations and honors. I mean, Defense and Air Force Distinguished Service Medals, the Air Force Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star, and the right. Vietnam Service Award with four stars. Uh, it's just uh, amazing. Uh, it can go on and on and on uh, with the, the amazing accomplishments of, of General Wilma Vaught. So, you know, of course, it's just, it's just fun to learn about and, and to definitely honor on such a very special Day. Happy birthday, Brigadier General Wilma Vaughn from Voice Absolutely. of the Bureau. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wilma. Yeah. Great, great life, great job, great service. Thank you for your service, Brigadier General Vaughn. Wonderful.